Well, hello and welcome back to Star's Galaxy of Heroes uh, 5 5 Grand Arena. The second opponent I have this week is Mug Wumpus. They are from the Senate Forest of Endor. They have 483,000 legacy score, but they also have 9.3 million GP, so. Yeah. They also fought one of my guildmates last week. So this will be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, okay, we've got a 2 Zeta No Ult Ray. Jabba, a uh, Seer, a uh, Reva. Okay. And then they've got Ben, Leia, uh, Malgus, and Lord Vader down here. So I was thinking for a second, because I'm like, what do I want to do where? So Leia has the stacking offense cron. Um, I'm kind of torn between taking either Talon or Sass with uh darth bane here i'm probably gonna go with sass honestly um where are my doubt crimes? yeah we'll take this but yeah here goes a nothing because i had a, another guy the uh, vac vac quasa i don't know how to pronounce the dude's name so sorry he kept asking me if i was sure that uh bane would work against Leia. And I really didn't have a good answer for him, so. Of course, it probably is also heavily dependent on the Datacrons you fight. So it can't really be, like, set 100% sure, like, oh, yes, this will work here, or oh, this won't work here, kind of thing. I think it depends on the Datacrons, and then um, if she manages to get rid of all your protection whenever she traps you with that, you know. And maybe that's a good reason why to have speed on Bane, so that way you can get through your turn and get rid of it. I don't know, honestly. I think it depends person to person. So, Lord Veda has the Doubtcron, Deflection, Tenacity, Resistance, and Stacking Offense. 10% Offense for two turns. Because I still have JMK on defense, we will be doing... Uh, well, we'll be doing Leia. So... You might be like, why aren't you going to do Leia against uh, the um, Ray team? I could probably get away, potentially get away with uh, running Starkiller against it, honestly. But time will tell on that front. Um, so, you know, we'll see. He's yes, so even though it's only a 2 Zeta... Um, Ray. I still gotta be careful and hope Blue Stacks doesn't do what it did to Doya earlier and crash on him. Okay, well, that's rude, but understandable. I really need to get rid of Maul. Or, or not. Okay. There we go. Let's get Thrawn out of here. Good. I want to... Well, I kind of need to see if I can get Ben back. I don't know if I can. I mean, we can definitely try. But, like... That'll depend on... Of several things, if we actually manage to kill Royal Guard with the uh, AoE. So, we will have to see, huh? Oof, duh. Okay, can you please stop doing that? Okay, we do have ult, so let's go ahead and crash it down. Okay, Ben's back. That's good. So we get max spanners, at least, on that front. Potentially. Let's not count our eggs just yet. Because we still have to get through Lord Vader. Now let's stealth. I really don't want to hit auto on this because I know Ben would start taunting and then they'd be doing some weird oddball attacks and all that. So Okay, so we're not going to get max because we can't cover the protection. But I'll still take it. I will still take it. Let's go deal with 
the other two GLs up north real quick. Um, so we've got backing offense for dark side units, the big damage immunity stuff. And they do have armor pin. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, where is Afra? No, we need do, 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 do. and uh, B2. All right. How? Let's pop my knee. Here goes nothing. That's good for me. Good, not good for them because, you know, I got that buff immunity. So let's go, let's go. Let's go get some burning on the floor. Oh wait, no, I forgot because of the blind. That was a waste. Then oh well, is what it is. Completely forgot he was blinded. That's my bad. But that is also acceptable because, Bush is dead. We can go for Embo. I really need to get them on damage immunity, honestly. There we go. Let's do that. Good. Let's get Chris Sandston knocked down. Of course, he goes and, you know, does that on the one person that can actually do damage to the team. Like, damn it, game? Eh, let's rock it, why not? At least it'll hit Chaba and do damage. And I have to wait on these two to get out of damage immunity, so... I love waiting. One of my most fun parts of the game is waiting on them to get out of damage immunity. The good thing is there's several ways to do AoEs on this team, it's just... Waiting on them to get a turn is so damn tiring. Especially Chris Sandston. Okay, job is in damage immediately, so. I wonder who's gonna come out of damage immediately first. Chris Sandston or Lando? Or are we gonna kill Jabba with AoEs before they even get out of damage immunity? Like, I understand he needs to be slow, but, like, this is, like, taking it to a ridiculous level. Gee, many Christmas. The fact that we killed Jabba before we killed Chris Sandston is ridiculous. It's kind of silly, honestly. Like... It took us all that time just to get through Chris Anson. Okay, so they have the ability block cron. Ooh, 60% armor pin. That's gonna hurt. Um, gonna hurt a lot. But it is what it is. Not much you can do about it. And, uh, Mm, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Okay, well, there goes the damage immunity. So. Okay, well, at least L3's on. Gone through hers already. So is Ray. Bye bye, L3. Now for Quill. We're gonna go for IG. Now we just gotta wait for them to take a turn. 
Yippee ki yay. Okay. Okay, about to go off with the deflection. I can't even get the freaking Star Destroyer pulled down because we're not getting any of the, um, of a, what is it called? Force energy worked up. These are all in damage immunity. Like, of course now we can, but that really doesn't mean much, so. Man, I really wanted to get max banners on that fight, but whatever. That's fine. Okay. Um. So we've got a triple army Darth Malgus team with the Doubtcron, Deflection, Potency, Crit Avoidance. I kind of want to save Jabba for the back zone to see what could be um, hidden away in there because you know I don't really trust people so these are gonna be another GL back there and uh, I'd rather be safer than sorry so we will do it this way Haunt back up on JML. Let's go for Bastila. Let's get that to JML. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Ba -ba -ba. I know pretty soon we're going to start having a doubt flowing all over the place, so it's kind of just hazard of running this team against uh, Darth Malgus, but no, not much I can do about it. Oof. That was basic. Because if I had done the AoE, she would have gotten protection back, and that wouldn't have really been what I wanted, so. Uh, let's call him. Now, I almost called him Kyle. <laughs> that wouldn't have been the right character. Uh, let's give that to Luke. Uh, let's throw it around to Mr. Al Kestis. Alright, so now that we have the insta kill available, we're probably gonna go for Darth Malgus. And start chipping away at everyone else slowly. Is the idea at least. I do need turns to do that though. Almost got Ma uh, Marauder. Let's go ahead and do that. Beautiful. Um, I know it's not going to do anything, but... Yeah. Let's go ahead and nuke him. Mm, can we pass it to Yoda? Nice, we can get a heal off finally. Okay, just keep going after Revan. So that way he keeps damaging Malik. I was about to say, is he ever gonna go down? Like damn, I didn't know he was made out of vibranium. Now let's pass it around again. Get rid of the lovely shock. Uh, let's keep calling Cal, why not? Or we'll probably should be calling Luke, honestly, because he does more damage against tanks, so Luke it is. Beautiful. Okay. So, they have protection up Kron, extra deflection, some extra crit avoidance. 
I've been mulling over what team to use. I'm probably just going to go with Treya. Maybe a, a bit overkill, honestly, but I couldn't really think of something else. I could just be like, oh, yeah, I can justify using that here, or oh, I can justify using that there, kind of thing. It's just, um, I really can't decide what to do, basically. So, yeah. I'll go with Treya. Because I didn't really want to use a rabbit here. I didn't want... Oh, no. I just realized I still have to deal with a Reva of their own up north, but, um... Yeah, I'm like, wait a second. But, um... Like... That's gonna make up my mind, basically, what I wanted to do where. And until I know what's in the back zone, which is behind this Finn team, I didn't want to use up all my big stuff. <coughs> yes, Treyarch is technically a bigger team, but, like... It's not the biggest team I have left that laying around, so. Can Rose and Uh Zori come out of stealth, please? There we go. He left me some Ewoks to kill. Some Ewoks. Let's go Wampa. Let's go Wampa. I know they're just going to keep taking turns and taking turns and taking turns, but the more turns they take, the more dots they get thrown on them. So that's fine with me. Of course, it is annoying just to watch them take 18,000 turns compared to my, like, very few. She's literally going to cut through my bonus protection. So that's cool. would like my bonus protection back, please. Oh, well, not that it mattered anyways. Okay, so Reba here has Doubtcrong backing off, not stacking. Why do I keep calling it stacking? It's to boost it offense, deflection, crit damage, yada, yada, yada. Let's try and turn on the fan real quick. Okay, now we'll take in a Doubtcrong and I hope for the best. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go for... 7th real quick. So that way she can't heal as much. Or can't be healed as much, I guess I should say. Good. Now for Grand Inquisitor. Yes, please keep attacking him. That's actually... Not your best move to do, but I mean, you, you can if you want. I'm not going to stop you from being stupid. It's only going to help me more than it's going to help you. I mean, yeah, sure, you'll get your damage out, but like, in the long run, how much is it actually going to help you? Not very much. Hmm, a random deflection. That's not cool. Now we need to get through the rest of Reba's health, so that way we can start recovering protection.
Come on, Sith, we can do it, boys and girl. We can do it. We can do it. A beautiful job, once again, by my Sith Empire. A beautiful job. Beautiful job. We've got... They've got a 25% chance to spell debuffs on himself for the dark side characters. They've got extra deflection, tenacity, and crit damage. However, I still have Jabba the Hutt. So, we will be doing Jabba. Jabba, 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 Jabba. Go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, I would like to throw down the disarm or whatever it is on him. That way he can't do ridiculous amounts of damage. So, actually, let's do this. Because we can save the TM swap for in a moment. At least I thought we would be able to. Okay. Forgot about the fact that they would get damage from me if I did that. That's my bad. However, what I know I can do, or I thought I could do, for some reason I thought he, Jabba, would have the uh, other thermal grenade throw ready to go. I guess not. I thought it was off cooldown. I assumed incorrectly. Okay. I would like Leia to take a turn. <laughs> mm. That was funny. That was that was that was pretty good. Okay, now the problem is is who is Fulcrum gonna go for? That's gonna be the real problem here. No one. That's the correct answer. And now we can just hit auto and let it go because, well, they ain't got much left they can do. They've got no big hits. They have basically nothing. I mean, sure, it's going to take a moment to kill crew, but it's not that big as it deals. Okay, we're going to take that off auto for a second, because we can just do this, and no more of that to BS. Okay. <laughs> it's always so fun watching that happen. Alright, what fleets do they have, I wonder? Okay, so they didn't change any other fleets. Interesting. Okay, let's see how the Rebels stream me this time, shall we? Good. IG's down, that's good. Eh, would have preferred Razor Crest to die as well, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to lose my Y-Wing, though, because 
Of course, we can't have it happen more than once in a round for me to actually get everything killed in one solid go. Oof. Okay, 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 we get it, we get it. You have marked on him. Can I please get a turn to get rid of it? Thank you. We're gonna call in the ghost just because I kind of would like to get rid of all of the... I'd like to get rid of Xanadu, honestly, but if he keeps dodging, then it's not gonna happen, so... There we go. And there we go. Okay, so... Even though it's less banners than Andoya, that's fine. It's not having to be too tapped, and that's all I care about. Alright. Yeah, that's dealt with. Let's go deal with the foe. Sith fleet, shall we? He's under Tarkin lead. I don't honestly think I've ever seen a Tarkin led Sith Empire. Sith Empire. Sith fleet, I guess. good thing is, is they have no way of actually blowing up my ships. Like the, I mean the reinforcement way, like, you know, you do the whole, like, ah, haha, I've destroyed your hangar, and now you can't reinforce because that ship will die, kind of thing, you know. So it literally is just a... Sith fleet under Tarkin. So weird. <coughs> it's like really, really weird. But okay. No idea. I'm not going to question it though. Because now we can sit auto and let the game play itself. I mean, of course, it may take a minute or two to get through the stupid bulwark on their Marauder, but eh, that's fine. They're not going anywhere. Mostly because they can't go anywhere. They can't call any help in because, well, I have control of the ship. So, and no, no reinforcements. On to the Separatists. Separatists, actually. What's the Chimera fleet against this? Okay, it was... Okay, I couldn't remember what the Chimera fleet against this was, because I remember I did it... The other day on Doya, I just don't remember what I had done. You would think I'd remember, but uh, no. No, I do not. Let's go ahead and get the Defender out here. Oof. That's annoying. Okay, that is unfortunate. Okay, who's Spy going? Of course, Vader. And of course, this the one time I want to do this on my main, and it just wants to go completely tits up. Of course. The one time I actually want to do it on my main, and it just wants to go fucking ballistic on me. Let's 
go ahead and mark Spy down and kill it because that way it can't hide anymore. Okay, that was a nice little bit of lag, but whatever. Ew, that was horrible banners. Okay. On my shoulder. So I in here has the 400% offense, extra potency and crit damage, resistance, crit avoidance. They have a 25% chance to resist, not resist, but cleanse debuffs off of themselves. However, because I haven't used Reva, I guess use Reva. So. Fuck it, we fall. Let's go ahead and torture Aiden. I really want her to cleanse that way she death marks herself, but I don't know if she'll have that capability of doing so, honestly. Because she is rapidly losing all of her teammates. Yeah, no, she's not going to be able to death mark herself. Oh well. And now, let's crush the first order. I really hope that my choice to do um, the Chimera versus the Malevolence doesn't come back to bite me with the banners. A little bit of that. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. Let's see what those final damages look like. 1835. I I will take it. Now he's got to wait on him. On wait on them to attack. So the final score against Mugwump is here is going to be 1835 to 954. Apparently. Um, what happened was they got through my south zone and all that, fine, whatever. And then they go up here to the UC against uh, Seer Team, and apparently my Fulcrum one-shot is C. So, I will take it. Um, anyways, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.